Hi, I'm Alan Haney from NOAA Fisheries in the United States. I'm the chair of the IC Strategic Initiative on the Human Dimension. And before my colleagues tell you about their COVID-related work, I'm going to talk a little bit of the types of things we've been doing in the Strategic Initiative to better incorporate social science throughout ICs. I first came to ICs at the Annual Science Conference in 2009 in Berlin. And I was warmly welcomed. Wow, you're an economist. But I was also asked, why are you here? And at that point, ICs had not fully embraced the idea that social science should be central to its mission. Today, social science is a central component of the IC's vision. People in the natural environment are both part of the ecosystem, and good natural science and social science are what will enable us to most effectively and sustainably manage our oceans. To make this interdisciplinary vision a reality, ICs created the Strategic Initiative on the Human Dimension in 2015. This group now involves more than 90 researchers from diverse disciplines, from economics to anthropology, from law to interdisciplinary science. SIHD has created a number of different working groups, as well as sponsoring diverse workshops and conferences and sessions in conferences to promote the better integration of social science through the marine science community. We are a strategic initiative, which means that we're not just a working group that works on our own, but we look at ways to try to incorporate social science throughout ICs where appropriate. This means that our mission is far from done, that who we are will continue to evolve as the questions that we face change. One way that we do this type of interdisciplinary work is through integrated ecosystem assessment groups, IEAs, that are a core part of the ICs community. Last year, we held a workshop, WK Conserve, where we brought a number of different social scientists and natural scientists together to try to recognize what are the exciting things that are happening now in these groups and how could we increase the amount of social science in a way that would be beneficial to the groups and to the larger ICs community. Because so many of the questions that we work with are interdisciplinary, Members of SIHD have worked to try to create an environment in which we can safely transcend the boundaries of specific disciplines. The MC's meeting held in 2016 and the one that has now been rescheduled for next year in Yokohama, Japan, are exciting forums where we're able to look, talk across disciplines and have really advanced the nature of marine science to go beyond being a biological science to being an interdisciplinary science that, that appropriately integrates across the disciplines. We also have worked a lot with our partners in the Strategic Initiative on Climate Change and ICES and Pisces groups to try to look at the challenges that climate change is going to bring across all of the things that we do in managing marine resources. Going forward, SIHD is a very exciting way to work on some of the biggest questions that we face as a marine science community and as a society. We'll continue to work on coordinating, creating scientific work that's valuable to the larger marine science community, and working with stakeholders to better understand the needs of policymakers and resource users. This last piece is a really important part, and, and we're reaching out to those of you who are stakeholders saying we want to talk and understand what your priorities are. The more that we can understand what the goals are of potential management actions, the better we can collect data and do research that'll best address those questions and help us together build a better management system. Today, you'll see three exciting talks about COVID-19 research in North America and Europe. All of us in SIHD have been reacting to this crisis like all of you have. Many of us have worked with our national governments to try to understand the impacts of the crisis and reduce the pain that's suffered by the fishery participants who've been impacted by the crisis. We've learned a lot from this experience. Long-term relationships that social scientists have with fishing communities and their participants can be really important in understanding the actual specific impacts that, that different fisheries experience, as you'll hear today. Also, having long-term data, the ability to know what happened before, lets us understand the impacts of a crisis like this or to understand how changes like climate change are going to impact our communities over time. We need more data, we need more research, and we invite you all to participate in increasing the amount of social science that's part of the IC's science community. If you have any questions about SAIHD, feel free to email me or to reach out to others